GHC National. I recognize that voice and I recognize these faces even more. The GHC National Championship is on the line. Takashi Sugiura, the reigning champion, defending his belt against the challenger, Masaaki Mochizuki. Here today, go on to the demolition stage 2021 at the Kumamoto Joe Hall, live and direct to your hands, to your homes, to all the fans around the world on Wrestle Universe. You're listening to Shu Fulton and Mark Picker, and this has been an amazing show so far, and the main event coming up right now. Yeah, you see the hashtag there, top left of your screen, Noah underscore GHG. Let us know what you think of tonight's show so far, and give us your predictions for this main event. The challenger stepping out first, Masaki Mochizuki, maybe the only member of the roster here today who is more of a bronzed Adonis than Keno. He's a Tokyo man, made his debut on the 21st of January 1994. I started college that year. This riff and this man don't strike even the slightest ember of fear into your heart. Then you're not a pro wrestling Noah wrestler. Takashi Sugiura, the killing machine. In his debut in December of 2000, in all his glory, stepping out to the crowd here in Kumamoto. Saki Mochizuki. Pensive. Yeah, that's a level of seriousness we don't often see from him in his native Dragon Gate promotion. Such as the stage today, such as the opportunity. Spotlight on the champion, the spotlight on the GHC National Championship belt, that red belt. Absolutely. So many have chased down over the years. Pristine championship. Sugiura gives up the belt. During this match, it goes off after being presented to the challenger to a neutral spot. Over on the table beside the ring announcer. Honnutsu main event of GHG National Senshiken Jai, Rogue Open, Ippon Shobo Gozaimasu! Our corner, Chosenja, 190 pounds, Mojiruki Masaaki! Masaaki Mochizuki. The champion, Takashi Sugiura. Shinji Nakayama in there with these two men here at the main event. The GHC National Championship is on the line. An official NOAA title since 2019. Sugiura, the reigning two-time GHC national champion in his current reign. Two successful title defences. He's fended off Sakuraba and Masato Tanaka. Very, very different matches. That match with Masato Tanaka was outrageous, Mark. Yeah, that was incredible collision of the former Dangan Yankees. Go back in the archives and watch that one. And not only did he defend his belt that day, he took the 0-1 World Heavyweight Championship from Tanaka that day, so he holds both. Yeah, that's a very important point there, Stuart. Double champion, Takashi Sugira. He is the living, killing machine. A former GHC Heavyweight Champion himself. He held it first in 2009 for 581 days. In recent months, of course, we've seen him tag with Kazushi Sakuraba. 
they were the GHC Tag Team Champions. We also saw him team up with his former Dangan Yankees partner, who we were just talking about, fought in an epic battle. But they teamed up uh, under the name Dangan Yankees again. Bit of a nostalgia blast there. Yeah, that was a rare treat. Sakeo, of course, so successful. Tag team picture and singles action here in pro wrestling. No, one of the pillars of this great company. Yeah, of course, he's the inaugural champion of this GHC title. In November of 2019, he took it from Michael Elgin. And in that first reign, he defended it successfully four times, taking out Shuhei Taniguchi, Masaki Tamiya, Kaito Kiyomiya, and Minoru Tanaka, eventually losing it to Katsuhiko Nakajima in May of 2020. Now, interestingly, Mark, Sugiura pinned Mochizuki at the beginning of this month after his Olympic slam in a six-man tag match alongside fellow Sugiura Army members Sakuraba and Fujita that day. They did also go at it together in a precursor match where we saw, like I said, the Dangan Yankees making their return against uh, Nakajima and Mochizuki that day. Tanaka pinned Nakajima for the win on that occasion. And this title match came to be the Mochizuki pinned Sagera, 10th of October in Osaka after the Shin Cycle high kick and then lay down to the challenge. A fighting champion who just takes down the challenger. Yeah, that's right, Mark. Yeah, Mochizuki got revenge after he finished Sugiura that day. And we'll surely see him pulling out that Saikyo high kick again, as he did out in Osaka on October the 10th. That day he was alongside fellow Ems Alliance members, stars more like. Masato Tanaka and Masakatsu Funaki. These two men have a combined total of 5,770 matches. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I can't even begin to imagine what your body has to go through over the years. And, and they're, they're absolutely still, going. still in their prime right now. You look at the condition on them, you look at the, the work rate, the amount of matches, the amount of events that they compete in on a yearly basis. They compete inside Noah, often outside Noah as well in the form of Ochizuki, working multiple promotions. Both 51 years old and wrecking shop. They both of these men champion separate promotions at the same time. Both were in the N1 Victory 2019 League. And that year, Ochizuki took only one win over Ken O. Sugura lost it to Ken O in the final. And then in 2020 Eight. was the year they both held titles Nine. in Noah. And that's where Ten. the roots of all of this started. Eleven. And Mochizuki al almost progressed Eleven. to the N1 semi-finals. It was on the final night. Ken O just pipped him to the post there to advance to the last four. And of course, the Dragon Gate man, the M's Alliance man, does have pedigree in terms of titles. He's a former GHE heavyweight tag team champion. With his M's Alliance ally, Naomichi Marufuji. They did face each other in an eight-man tag match last year. Sugi on the losing side that day. But just this month alone, they faced three times. And I believe they're at one pinfall each right now. Even Stevens. And this is the first time for them to face each other in a singles match ever. And for nothing less than the GHC National Championship title. And our main event tonight here in Kumamoto doesn't get any better than this. Mochizuki's had 802 singles matches and won 74% of them. Sugiura's had less than half that, 373, and he's won 68% of them. So the odds are really, on paper, highly in favor of Masanaki Mochizuki. Yeah, Sugiura was such a high-level Greco-Roman wrestler, won the Japanese championships. He was close to selection for the Olympics that he didn't enter the pro wrestling world until the age of 30. But it's unbelievable what he's achieved in the span of those last 21 years. Outstanding. Mochizuki debuted in 1994 at Korakuen Hall and had already held 
the WAR International Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship with, I believe, Battle Ranger at the time. And this was by the time Segura debuted in, in 2000. So yeah, that, that difference in the time scales there. But it means absolutely nothing right now. Yeah. Segura is top of the pile. The credentials both far and wide, but it's all about the t today. It's all about the present now. Who leaves Kumamoto, GHE national champion. Spells out onto the apron. Well anticipated from Machizuki. Just gets out of the way of that kick, drags his feet down onto the toe hold. Sugi has been main eventing for well over a decade. Pressure is nothing to him, Mark. He is pressure. <laughs> yeah, you stand before the killing machine, you're going to know all about pressure. One way traffic on the outside now from Segura. Somewhat nervous clap from the crowd there. We're getting close up and personal with the killing machine. Yeah, when you see the kind of violence that the killing machine can inflict on his opponents up close like that, it's jaw dropping. Such a specimen as well. Yeah. Like I've said before, Mark, I trained with him briefly back in 2003 or four, maybe. And uh, he wasn't as big then as he is now, but believe me, he was strong as an ox. Okay. This has been around the time of his days in Pride Fighting Championships as well. Drags the challenger into the center. He's on that outside toe hold now. Oh, really cranking that. And that's not just the ankle, by the way. The knee takes a hell of a wrenching. It's a smart strategy from the champion. Of course, the leading Arsenal, the leading line of offense for Mochizuki is those kicks. Shin Saikyo high kick left and right. Mochizuki trying to get out of those leg attacks with the shift in his hips over looking for the arm of Sugura, but Sugura just continues to work on the lower body of Mochizuki. The crowd getting behind them here. Mochizuki hanging in there. Yeah, they want to see this great action continue. They want to see more from the challenger. Chizuki, a former GHC tag team champion alongside Naomichi Marufuji. They held that together in the early months of 2020. And I believe he's a three time open the gate, open the twin gate champion. Uh, they've done it all in their respective promotions Sagere and Noah, Machizuki in Dragon Gate. Takashi Sugiura staying firmly in control here, still attacking the lower limbs of the challenger Mochizuki. And he's got so much patience in his submission work as well. Very, very calculated. It's a war of attrition. He's like a Terminator, that man. It's like, you know, you could chop limbs off and he'd still keep coming at you. Yeah, how do you kill a killing machine? That's the question. 10 minutes into this main event, the GHC National Championship. Sugura defending, still staying on those leg attacks. Stomps onto the leg. Trying to get out of there. Challenger slaps into him, but thunders down with a drop elbow. Whoa! Dragon screw. How about that, Mark? Picking a dragon screw from the champion. Yeah, it's effective. It's on the same leg. It's going to do more damage. 
right under that Achilles tendon. Using the sharpest point of his wrist to slice up into it. And that's a vice-like grip as well that Tagira possesses. Uh, it's horrible. The, the only thing I can think that's anywhere near it is the prison lock of Masaki Tamiya. Yeah, that's a great shout. The crowd again behind the challenger here, looking for that rope escape again. He needs to get away from these leg attacks and launch his own attacks. No let up at all from the champion. No surprise there. to his feet, but eats a big forearm from Sugiura. Head to head. There's the kicks. Comes back with the kicks now, Masaki Mochizuki. Look at the damage immediately to Sugiura. Karate background, but look at that. Yeah, hip toss is blocked. Goldstein takes the leg again. Back to the leg attacks. This is horrible for Mochizuki. The Sakurabesque that was. Sugiura's so style has always been very based in his, his freestyle wrestling background, but we're seeing pure Mac wrestling from him here today. Yeah, he's added in those submission skills mid time in mixed martial arts. It's a complete package is the champion. Mochizuki's tough though. Gets the rope again. He's tough and he needs to be tough right now. What a daunting figure that must be to be standing over you and dragging you back to your feet as you're trying to take his championship belt. Sagira yeah, takes no prisoners at all. Good work from Mochizuki now, stopping those attacks, keeping him away. He's got to keep him at bay. Oh, straight to the dish. Replies with one of his own, the champion. Oh, tit for tat here. Whoa. Sent him over with that one. Great fight back from the challenger. Mochizuki feeding off the crowd. Exactly. You took the words right from me, Stuart. This is Mochizuki's best spell so far. Doesn't get him up that time. Sugiura just launches him away. Wow. Looking for a spear. Got stopped yeah, anyway. Somewhat unconventional. Sugiura so scouted that one, stopped him in his tracks, corner to corner. Here comes the champion with a big boot. Boom, the knee right into the face of the challenger. Crumples down in the corner. Sugira dumps him down on the top. And he's got bad intentions. Very bad intentions. And the referee says, no, 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 you can't do that. But who is going to stop it? Let's be honest. Can Mochizuki get out of this? No. Superplex. What an impact on Mochizuki's back there. Landed about halfway across the ring. 15 minutes into this main event. A lot of damage taken to the back of the challenger there. And now Sugura has him inverted one foot in. Yeah, that high impact superplex will have winded the challenger. Oh, 
poised. Ripping his legs apart with that one now. Yeah, look at the talk, look at the pressure. Oh, he's dragging himself, he's managing to drag himself away. Can he get to safety again? This is his key, if he stays there, it goes. Ah, he's got it. Mark. Sugiura's just getting started. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing, Stuart. If anything, it looks like he's getting stronger. 17 minutes into this one. On his knees, thundering into the face of the challenger. Mochizuki taking punishment after punishment. That blood is coursing through the veins of the champion. Starting to fire up a little bit now, the champion, Sugiura. Oh, I do so well. So Yura says, what's up, eh? Back on their feet, pumps in some more elbows. Something just flew out, then it could have been a gum shield from the challenger. It looked like a tooth. What? I didn't deter the champion at all, but what a turnaround, yeah. Well, she just said, bring it, and then headbutted him. Back on his feet, this looks like a second wind from Masaki. Oh, and he just slaps him. Whoa, winding it up now. Slap after slap. These are two incredible human beings. What have they got in store for us here? Double high boot. Oh, Mochizuki, clever work there, gets under that one, takes a hold. Yeah, it's a Fujiwara armbar, it looks like, from this angle. Yeah. Can't get it in fully, though. No, not enough weight Sigeru's down on that. fighting it back. Or oh, steps over into the arm, cross arm breaker. Great transition for Mochizuki. The Juji Katami, the straight armbar. No extension on it there now, because Sugiura's managed to get back on his feet close to the ropes, but puts his hips into it and gets some extension on it. Now, this is bad for the champion. Yeah, he's going to tighten the hips, pull back even more. Sugiura's left arm. There's little, little that the champion can do from this position. Yeah, once, he, once Mochizuki had his knees closed up together there, that was when he had him locked in tight, but there's some space there, so Sugiura's managing to get out and back to those leg attacks. The champion onto the heel hold. Phenomenal work from Sugiura. This is a Sugi world. When he gets a hold of your legs, he'll take one of them home with you. Referee asking Mochizuki if he's going to give up. No sign of give in the challenger. Sugiura <laughs> definitely wants to take that leg home with him. Yeah, he wants a souvenir from Kumamoto, as well as that GHE national crown, which sits behind him in all its red glory. Over 20 minute mark. Oh, Suzuki. No, surely he's not thinking about giving up. He's come this far. No, he's not. No, he's got plenty of fire left in his belly yet. Sugura wondering what the hell he has to do to get him to tap out. Drags him back. Oh, no. Oh, there's a knee from the champion. Sends him over face up. After each of these exchanges, Mark, I get a little bit nervous about what Sugiura is going to do next. 20 minutes in. Oh, hits the German suplex into the second turnbuckle. Jeez. My God. You was exactly right, Stuart, to be concerned. There he goes again, thundering in those elbows from his knees. How many people can get that much power behind their strikes from their knees? Exactly, from a, from a vertical pace. Look at the power he's generating. That power tends to come from your hips, but even while on his knees, he's inflicting more damage to the challenger. There we go, released. Yeah, released German. 
Running knee from the champion. Ferocious stuff. There's the cover from Sugiura, manages to kick out of it here. Mochizuki is taking a whole load of punishment, but he is still looking like he's in there. Yeah, and Mochizuki's stable mate, Marufuji, is at ringside supporting him. Attacking that left leg. Takashi Sugiura now gets him up. Olympic slam! Textbook Sugiura, Olympic slam. Hooks up the leg, can he finish it here? Kicks out of it, the challenger, Mochizuki. Wow, yeah. back onto that toe hold. Olympic slam, we have to give a gold medal to the challenger. Kicking out of that one. Yeah. Yeah. that yeah. ankle over. Oh, the fight this man has left in him. Fires back. Oh, huge kick to the champion, one to the head and collapses. What do these men have left in the tank here? They've given it the roll. One thing you cannot do is count out either of these two men. When they seem like they are done, they still get up and still go back at it. Mochizuki gets him up. Bang! Yeah, there it is, the twister. Hooks up the leg! Can he take this bell here? No! Not yet. Sakira's title reign is under threat here. Yeah, he, he knew he was never going to finish him quickly and easily. He knew it was going to be a war of attrition, an absolute battle of not just skill and power and strength, but will. Out the back door! Attacking that leg again. Oh, takes a hoop kick. Clipped him right behind the ear with that. Sent him out momentarily, still in the game, but face down. Mochizuki has something in store. Sugiura's back up. And he turns, stops him with a lariat! Takashi Sugiura! Good Mochizuki, he's defiant here. Oh, exchanging slaps here, hammer and tongs, tongs and hammers, screwdrivers and all kinds of tools coming out the bag. <laughs> it's a barrage! Ooh. <laughs> Good lord. Sugiura is trying to kill him. Oh, misses with a punch. There we go. Yeah. The Psycho high kick. Shin Psycho high kick. And there's a second one. Shin Psycho high kick. Buckled him. Champion could be out. Dropped to his knees. There's the cover. Two. Oh! Just to get a shoulder up at the last possible moment. The belt is still his for now. And there it is. Yes, he's still popping in those kicks with everything he's got. Mochizuki. Referee just checking on the champion. What a display of kicks. Into the face of the champion from Mochizuki again, has him on his back, shoulders down. Oh my god, he's done it! Masaki Mochizuki has taken the GHC National Championship title from the Kami Machine before our very eyes here in the Kumamoto Joe Hall. The killing machine has been dethroned. Masaki Mochizuki. Upon kick, upon kick, upon kick. Sugiura ate them up as much as he could. But in the end, completely sparked out. We have ourselves a new GHC national champion. 
Takashi Sugiura fails on his third title defense and the belt moves to the EMS Alliance member Masaaki Mochizuki in fine fettle. Arguably the most impressive win of that man's career. Impressive doesn't even begin to express it. That was outrageous. What a sight that is. What an individual accolade for Masaki Mochizuki. Put the hurt in on the killing machine like nobody has done in quite some time, Stuart. Astounding. To do that to Sugiura is something else. Oh, Kenno's just made an appearance. Kenno knows this belt very intimately. Kenno held this belt himself for a grand total of 229 days. Mochizuki. And defended it six times, eventually losing it to Kazuki Fujita. He wants it back. He says, how old are you, 50? How old? I can't remember. How old you both were. You're both two old men, 50s. But he offers up very unusual words saying that was a great fight, he said. Keno very happy with that performance in this main event. He said, if you want to know what I have to say, listen on Wrestle Universe. Wrestle これからはな、未来のプロレスを見せないといけないんだ。てめえらおっさんの方に、野沢ブラッシュどうしてんだ。おい、いいか。持ちづき、マサキ。He does not suit that GHC national belt. And that Keno himself is the one to carry the name forward. And he is the one that should be wearing that belt. We know and somewhat admire. He said, he said, I knew you were going to talk about old folks' homes and all kinds of shit. He said, you want to make a challenge? He said, I'll accept your challenge. He tells Keno not to look down on his generation. He said, you're the perfect challenger for my first title defense. Keno says that belt doesn't suit you. Keno doesn't mince his words. Very clear that he wants to see that belt in the hands of the younger Noah generation. Addressing everybody here in Kumamoto saying it's been a while since he wrestled down here. He says he's been away from Dragon Gate for a while. But in the main event here today, taking the belt. 
He said, Kumamoto was about the 40th on my prefectural ranking in Japan, but today it's number one. Oh, he says he's going to bring Dragon Gate here next month. Keno is going to be getting in the ring in Osaka and Dragon Gate. Many thanks everybody for their support and hopes that they'll continue to support Noah and Dragon Gate. There we have it, folks. You have a new GHC national champion, Masaaki Mochizuki, tearing the belt from the killing machine. Takashi Sugiura on his third title defense. And none other than the wonderful crowd here in Kumamoto get to witness this historic moment. Yeah, we hope that not before too long the crowd will be able to join in with this song. And it won't just be the hand gestures they're doing now in support of the new champion. Times are a change in here in pro wrestling, Noah. Amazing stuff to cap off an amazing card here. Go on to the demolition stage at 2021. You've been listening to Stuart Fulton and Mark Pickering. Sayonara. The most jaw-dropping, revered, first-rate action. Pro Wrestling Noah. 900 yen monthly. Watch all the action you want on Wrestle Universe. State of the art, powerful production and drama of biblical proportions. The highest level athletes and techniques collide with our shining stars. Do not miss the finest in pro wrestling right now Wrestle Universe.